everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make the Z Fold wiper card. Now, I have held this video back because some of the product that I'm going to be showing with you today had sold out and I didn't think it was fair to share the video. And then lots of you ask, you know, where you can get the product and it not be available. So now the stock is back in, I can share this video with you. And hopefully, for those of you that do have the product already, this will just be some more inspiration. So I'm going to show you how to make this card here using April the Giraffe, who I know, who I know a lot of you are familiar with now but when you pull the card out pops another one and they're really really fun these ones I've added the baseball caps onto them so it just shows that just by adding that little extra it turns it into a more youthful younger card possibly um, and then you take them away and you've got just a really lovely looking giraffe on her own and that's the one with the single and that's the one I'm going to show you today but I have already shared this one here and that's the double and it's very, very fun. And again, you can see how the giraffe looks. Jerry, without her hat, she looks very, very sweet. So that's that one. And then also I have the fabulous flight range, which is the hot air balloons. And then with this one, I have the rocket that pops out and it says, I always knew you could fly. So you can see there, you could have that same, you know, this same um, workings with just the one with the balloons and everything there as well. So they're really fun to make, very easy. So let me show you how. To make this one, you're gonna need the five by seven, card die set, the Amazing Animals stamp set, which is this one here, and then the Amazing Animals die set, okay? And what I've gone ahead and done is cut everything that you need. So in there you will have your large die, okay? And this will cut your back piece, which I've done here. So you've got one of those. Then you'll have this piece and you want to die cut one of those. That's for the bottom Z fold. Then you've got your matte layer and I've cut this one here. Oh, and this is using this paper pad here, which is the party paper pad. You've got some great papers there. The bunting is the one that I've used on that one. And then this one, we're gonna use the balloons. Really fun, perfect for birthdays. So you wanna die cut that one. And also you might wanna do another one for the back if maybe this was a colored paper or colored card. If you've done that in white and stick it on the back, then you can write your, you know, your message onto that piece. So one of those. Then I've also used the bottom part of that paper pad because it's eight by eight so that you can use it across your six by six and the five by seven versions and all of the scraps keep them because they're perfect even for these smaller pieces here where we cut out these little sections which I'll show you in a moment but one using that one there which will go in the bottom piece here and then you've got all your matte pieces here so you'll see I've cut two in this polka dot to go here and here and then I've cut two in the smaller one here to go here and here so I'm using the contrast because all the colors match within the pack so that's those and then you'll need your mechanism, which I've done here in the white. So just one piece of that. And then all your bits to decorate. So I have stamped the giraffe and then die cut the giraffe. But I also then done a mirror image, which, which I share in one of my videos. And um, it's a really simple technique. You just stamp onto a media plate, you lay your cardstock down, peel it off, and there you'll have your transfer or your reversed image. Because it's really nice with these cards to have them facing each other. But if you don't want to do that, there's no harm in them, you know, facing the way that they stamp like this. So I've got those ready. I've coloured everything using my coloured pencils and then I've gone ahead and I'd already had a lot of these ready because I've been making a lot of cards. So I've got lots of the daisies there. So that's those all there. And I've also got the baseball cap in the red and in the blue. You also get your sentiment die. These are great. These are perfect to use on other, you know, cards as well. It doesn't just have to be on the ones within this set, but it's yay, it's your day. And I've just die cut it a few times and then backed it ready to pop on, fr on the front of the card. So get rid of all of the dies there and first of all you just want to fold and burnish your score lines so you want to do a mountain fold and then a valley fold okay so we've got that piece and then with this one again do a mountain fold and a valley fold so you have that and it's going to stick like this okay but before you stick this piece on it's best to stick down your pattern paper so I'm going to have my balloons there and then those two there and then on this one I'm going to have the blue there and then those two smaller pieces just on these pieces here. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and stick all that down. Okay, so you'll have these pieces like this. Next you want to add some glue to the back of this one here. Right, put my glue on there. And you're going to stick it right down into the bottom left hand corner here. Okay. Just let that grab for a second. Okay, and then for this one, I'm going to attach it whilst it's still open, because on some of the tutorials I'm showing, you can put it all together 
and then you can stick the mechanism in, you know, it's entirely up to you. Some people will, pref you know, have one way to the other. I think I prefer it when it's all together, but I do want to show people different ways as well. So with the mechanism here, just fold and burnish both ways on the corner there. You've got a little triangle, okay? And I'm actually just going to use some of my Cosmic Shimmer Glue here, um, just because it's got a really, really fast grab. And you want to add glue to the top of this here, okay, like so. Then you're going to fold that piece over and you're going to stick it so that this flat piece here lines up with the score line here and it will be the exact width okay so you'll see it lines up perfectly with this piece and the bottom is flush as well you do want to make sure when you bring this over okay you can move it if you're using the liquid glue but can you see there when the whole thing folds flat you won't see any of that okay so i'm just going to hold that there for a second and then if you imagine when you pull it that way, can you see now that pops out? Obviously we haven't attached it all, but that just shows you that it works, okay? Like so. Next I'm going to add glue. If you just kind of hold it up over to this side here. If you want to put a pencil mark at the top there you can, but I'm just going to put my finger there and then I know, bring back in this glue here. I like to use the Kalau glue because it's nice and strong and it's great whenever you're making cards with movement because it just strengthens the card so that's why you know a lot of the times you see me chopping between the two glues the cosmic shimmer is perfect for that quick grab so that's why i used it for the mechanism there so i'm just going to hold that one in place and what i do is i fold the whole thing flat i don't think i let that glue dry enough so i'm just going to hold that back in place there and just stick that down for a second okay so now that's all done so we have our wiper okay next you just want to decorate so I've got this one here and this one here. So I'm going to pop this one in place first and I'll just show you just how you can change them just by adding the baseball cap. Now what I do like to do, and this is just me being, you know, a bit picky, but obviously when you die cut this it will give you the white trim, which is great. But if you just cut, some of you that follow me now will be going, she's fussy cutting again. <laughs> but if you just cut away that white piece, like so, just along the bottom and then pop it on, it just gives it a little bit of a better fit. You can get it right down to the top of the, the eyes there. So I'm going to pop the red one on her. So like I said, you know, look how she looks there. She looks lovely. You could put a flower on her head. But by adding the baseball cap completely transforms her. So we'll stick that one like so. But if you don't want a fussy cut, let me just show you, the baseball cap still looks good. It really does, so don't feel you have to do that. It's just me with the little things that I do, and I thought, oh, well, let's just cut away that white and just see what it looks like. So again, I'm just going to trim that one off there, like so. Again, just pop a very small bead of glue there, and then just sit that one over the top. Okay, so now we've got our two cool giraffes. Now this one here is going to sit here but don't worry if it comes down further and I just coloured it a bit further remember that one's not been die cut that's been fussy cut because it's a, a mirror image but it's going to go here and then I'm going to pop a flower just there just so it covers the bottom of the neck okay so just decide kind of how you know high up whereabouts you you want it to sit I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just at the bottom of the tongue and then a little bit there so I know it just it's going to attach there and there. Bring it across a little bit further and then I can pop a little bit of glue just under there just attach the head. So I'm happy with that. That is then going to stick there. Okay, so again. And I'm going to sit that right in the centre and just make sure you've got a nice even border on the left and the right and the top and the bottom. About Pull it down a little bit, there we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And now with this one, what you need to make sure is that when it sticks in here, she's hidden. Okay, so again, this is why it's good to use your liquid glue. Now, you can also trim these. You don't have to keep them this length. Now, I have shared on some other ones because like this one here, you can have it to have your sentiment on. Okay, but you have also got the option to trim it down if you want to. So I'm just going to, let's do... Let's have a little look so I'm just wondering what did I do that one there yeah because it covers you're then going to build up your flowers on the front so I'm going to take off just over an inch from that 
Okay, and it doesn't interfere with the mechanism at all because that's all working on the, the back there. But now I can just have her just about there. I can build a flower up. Just check again, that is. Oh no, she's even higher again, so she's more there. You don't want it to come over the top of the card there either. So I think maybe I'll take a little bit more off. You play around with this, and that's why it's good to use liquid glue because you've got time to reposition. So I'm going to have her, there we go, more like that. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on her there and just have her like so. And then pop it in and can you see she hides? As long as you keep her right in the centre of that piece, she will hide behind the card. Okay, so now we just need to build up the rest of the flowers. I actually used this on another project and I thought I'm not going to waste that because I can have it like that and then I can put some other flowers over the top and you would never know. So we will pop a little bit of glue there and I'm going to have that one like so. And you could cut down the corners of this piece as well and shape it that way if you wanted to. I'm going to pop one on her there so that starts to cover but make sure it doesn't affect your mechanism so each time you add something flick it down but don't worry if that's popping up because this is where you start to build up see that flower is going to go there and it hides but you know things behind but it looks nice when it pops up because then it adds to that little arrangement of flowers that we've got so keep moving and keep working the mechanism every time that you add something different to it so I'm going to bring in some foam now because I want to start kind of lifting things up around this sentiment but I don't want to cover it too much so I have that one there Okay, I'm happier now. I've just rearranged the flowers a bit better there, but you can see now. Just, you know, kind of play around with it all, position it all where you want it, and then, you know, stick it down. But I think it's super cute. Also, what I like to do is I've been using my glossy accents here, and it's a really nice um, medium to use to highlight, like, the tongue, the eyes, anything that might have a bit of a glit of a shine. It goes on cloudy but then it dries clear but it's just a really nice thing and I, I think I've used it on every single one where I've uh, stamped the giraffe and I've used it in the centres of some of the flowers as well so let's add it into the centre of that one there. I'm not sure how well this will show up when it's still wet but if I show you it on this one can you just see here we go you see all that shine really really nice um, and you know you can put it on all sorts of things so there you go, that is the Z Fold with the single wiper showing off all those lovely papers and obviously this one here you can see which I've used the wiper and to have another part of the sentiment so yay it's your day, I always knew you would fly. So this also, there's the double one again. Okay so I'll just show you that one, really really fun, I think this is my favourite one. So yeah with the double, same card, then with the single, using the different papers gives you a whole different look. It's just so much fun and these will fit into a box envelope or a bouncy envelope so if you make any of your own you can pop it in that as well. So yeah really really fun tutorial so I hope you've liked it.